Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to your Monday morning moment. It is December 21st. I'm Arnold Westfall. If you're enjoying this channel, please take a moment to like and subscribe to it so you don't miss an episode, as they do come out generally every Monday. As always, I'm here supporting the Goals for Life game. If you haven't yet checked out Goals for Life, please go to goalsforlifegame.com. There you'll find resources and a team ready to support you in achieving your goals and living the life of your dreams. Today I'm talking about transition. Today happens to be the winter solstice. The shortest day of the year and the longest night of the year. Tomorrow, the days will get longer and the sun will return. I've been thinking a lot about what winter really means. How it is in nature sort of a time of contraction. Everything sort of pulls in, hunkers down, and waits for that moment to regrow. That signal to launch again. And I know that personally myself and many of my friends and colleagues and people that I talk with regularly about things like goal setting and personal development have all sort of experienced a similar thing. One of my good friends holds to some of the shamanistic traditions and we talked at length about the fact that winter is a time of contraction, pulling in and getting ready to grow again and that we are actually very much in tune with the seasons of the earth as creatures of the earth. So this is a normal thing to have happening. And I thought about the fact that in our lives, as we progress, we have peaks. We can also have valleys. You know, a time of contraction, if you will, a time of pulling back or regrouping, it's pretty normal. You know, we don't grow in a straight line. We grow in waves. Everything in life moves in up and down motions. We have peaks, we have valleys, we have highs, we have lows. Songs have been written about it. Plays have been written. Movies, theater, since the dawn of time. It's the human condition. My focus on it now is to simply not judge it. I recognize when I feel a contraction. Okay, that's great. I'm feeling that. Let me ride that out. What am I learning about this? What am I preparing for? What's my next step? How do I look forward to the growth that I know will come and have energy and intention behind that? It's also a time to reevaluate. It's, it's uh, the end of our calendar year. Uh, it's not a coincidence, I think, that the solar calendar is based on ending and starting right around the time the sun comes back. I think you, know, you shifted a few days one another. Could be New Year's Day today, right? Same thing. So let's take some time. I'm going to take some time and evaluate where I am today. In fact, uh, I'm going to do a little exercise. I'll invite you to join me along with it. On New Year's Eve this year, next week, I'm going to sit down and write a snapshot of my life at the end of 2020. Where am I? What am I thinking about? What am I looking forward to? What are my expectations? What things would I have liked to have had a different result for during 2020, which results am I really happy with? And I'm going to put it in an envelope, I'm going to put it in a drawer, and I'm going to take it out next Christmas and see what the year has brought me. 2020 has been a surprising year for just about everyone on the planet. I think nobody thought last January 1st that we would have experienced a year like we did. So I'm going to invite you, if you're here to set goals, if you're here to move forward in your life, Take this time, look at the goals you put down for yourself, evaluate them. Do they still make sense? Do they need to be updated? Do some need to be cast aside? Are there new ones that need to be put on the list? Only you have the answers for that. But take the time at the start of the year to reset your compass. Understand that this winter is past. We're moving into the new day. The sun is coming back. Our growth is upon us. Reach forward. Embrace the sunlight. Take charge of your life, go get your goals, and live the life of your dreams. This has been your Monday Morning Moment.